Hey, how you doing? Uh, Zach again, and I'm joined by famed uh, stage creator in Smash Brothers, Rad Ryan 132. Hello there. Anyway, yeah, I, I'm known for my famous stages. Why don't, why don't we go check out my most popular stage? Oh, absolutely. Let's go see your most popular stage. So, let's go ahead and see what is your most famous stage. Yes, this one's very popular. I, I really don't know why. Hmm. Have any ideas? Honestly, I can't tell why it's so popular. How many likes does this have? Over 7,000? 8,000, my dude. Do not under... Oh my goodness, over 8,000? That's like yeah. a small country. Everyone's on freaking... Everyone at Smash Bros. is a goddamn video. And they're horny as fuck. Yeah, people need that. We need to get some quality stages. But well, you know what? Let's go see some more quality stages. Yes, we have we have so many quality stages because every stage on Smash Bros. is made with only intelligence and uh, importance. So with every stage, we're going to um, show who created this stage. So for this stage, Dabbing Squidward, this was created by this son of a bitch, Ryan Ryan. Yeah, this is one of my favorite creations. If you notice, there There's might be a secret thing that makes it very hard to observe as I try to get to villager. Or absorb as he gets to me. So what inspired you to create Squidward dabbing? Pain. You know what? This video has gone on for too long and we haven't mentioned the most important thing. Our sponsor. Who are we sponsored by today? Well, let's take That's a look. That's right. That's right. Geico. Did you know, you know 15, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance? insurance? Please. Please sponsor us. We need money. We're poor. And now for another stage not created by Rad Ryan. I know they exist. Yes. This is PK a... Fire. You can't even see him. There now we you go. Can see him. Also, as you notice, I am playing as the Barry Benson mess. As 20 you can see, I'm better. playing as the only good skin mess. To the, uh, online Smash Bros. here, boys. Bro, here I Cost go. Cost $30. Dollars. Hope you like it. Yo, PK Fire? What? PK Fire. Yo, PK Fire? Whoa, PK... You know, I'm gonna do PK Suicide. So, our channel is famous for dead memes. Well, here's one that was killed, revived, and then murdered again. <laughs> I'm Pickle Rick! I'm Pickle Rick! <laughs> so, people keep asking, is this a Christian family channel? Well, I'll have you know, this is one of the most Christian channels on YouTube you will ever see. That's right, boys. Welcome to Moses. Welcome to Last Time. I'm mean, Jesus. Now, I'm playing as a very religious character. Arthur. From now, I'm also playing a very religious character. Dark you know, Pit. He, believe, he, doesn't, he doesn't even believe From in Metroid. the God of his universe. Arthur does that in the show all the time. Well, yeah, I know. Uh, Arthur just constantly prays to Jesus. Like every second he, he gets. also does his uh, he wrestling. does his five prayers every day. Come on Arthur, yes, use your classic headbutt. But yeah, we have to definitely cut it by now because it's getting cancerous. This is getting and cancerous. not in a good way. So, Rad Ryan, did you know there was you have fans? Someone made a portrait of you. Oh boy, I, I want to see it. And uh, here we go. I, I, I'm uh, feeling the arms might be a little bit too big, and the nose is. The nose is definitely too small. Yeah, the nose I'm like, gonna I'm gonna say the eyebrows could be thicker. Oh well, most definitely, but they're they're minor compared to the size of the nose. Like, that's my yeah. number one defining feature. Absolutely. So uh, they also did not add hair. I, I feel like yeah. that that's weird. That could be like thinking in the future I might be bald sometime. Oh you think other than that, that nothing is wrong. They got yeah. everything else completely right. I think they got it perfectly well. So on to the next stage. This is uh, one of our very famous JoJo references that we have to do in every video. That's right. Is it's John Starfield. Rowe and Starfield. Hey John. <laughs> you, I need oh, some lasagna. Oh, you're approaching me. Hey you're John, I can't beat the shit out of you without getting closer. John, I need some lasagna. Hey John, where's my fucking lasagna, John? Hey John, <laughs> lasagna. This goddamn dog, I want to kill him. This goddamn dog, I mean, I'm going to actually Star murder Platinum. this fucking dog. No, you won't. Hey, look, it is I, Gerfield. I am going to kill Adi. What the fuck? Take I've been that. side- I was side beam! Hey, dog. John, I was side beam. What does John even sound like, anyway? Oh, 
Garfield. <laughs> Garfield. Another one that left me. <laughs> what am I gonna do? You gotta be cooking some lasagna, John. There's no more in the state of Ohio that I live in. But John, my lasagna needs to be cooked. But John, Garfield, I've lost the will to live. John, you motherfucker! Give me my some goddamn. Not lasagna. even my own mother will talk to me anymore. Listen, John, no woman wants to talk to you because you don't cook me no fucking lasagna. But how will cooking you one nice Italian dish <laughs> get me more <laughs> pussy? <laughs> so, we've already shown you some good stages so far, but we've went through the entirety of online stages, and we decided to just bring you a top ten list. So, we know which ones are good, which ones are bad, and we know which ones you want to see. Starting off at number 10, it is the one and only stage. That's right. E. E. Truly a masterpiece. Look at this stage. I don't know how Honestly, I love the Aurora Borealis. I don't know how the creator was so smart to think of such an idea. I don't know what he was thinking, but honestly, I'm glad he thought. I don't know where we'd be without it, but thankfully it's Honestly, here. I feel like my life would not be complete without E, and this is why it deserves number 10 spot in our top 10 list. So, coming in at number 9, it is one of the best stages. It really represents one of the most famous mountains of all. That is right, Mountain Dew coming in at number nine. So, the reason this is at number nine is because, first off, this is based off of the real mountain, Mountain Dew. Mountain Dew was first discovered back in 1866 by a bunch of rednecks trying to find some It wasn't 1866, it was 1869. All oh, right, I'm so sorry. Uh, but it was discovered by rednecks to find a some glacier ice to give them a refreshing drink. Uh, however, they found something mu much better. They found Mountain Dew, and thus the brand was created and has been alive ever since, and has been a staple in the gaming community. Coming in at number eight, it is the first stage created by Rad Ryan, which started off his famous legacy of becoming a famous uh, Smash Bros. stage creator. It is Uganda. Now, then, what inspired you to create Uganda? You wait. So can you tell me more about Uganda? Yes, this is a stage I really wanted to make. I mean, I just thought the people need to have some of the most important icons in meme culture as a stage for So, so it was, was my duty. I had to make it. Was the meme in full blow um, whenever you created the stage? Or was it dying down? Oh, it was long dead. People still download the stage, so. Honestly, and I can see why. Were, this stage honestly really captures the idea of Uganda Knuckles. And honestly, this is why it deserves number eight. Coming in at the number seven spot is a blast from the past. This game revolutionized the gaming industry. That's right, it is Baldi's Basics 2.0. I see they really, really captured the art of Baldi's Basics. Now, but, like, I want you to come over here in this room. Look at that. Oh they have gosh, a wall, they and then the, when you go through the door, it opens so that you go into the room. You have a journal in here and everything. Um, I really love how the artist made the windows disconnected from the wall. And the different size windows on the door. I mean, it's just I mean, truly, this, like, this is, like, their, like, you know, artist style. And right here, Jump Rope Girl in 3D? I've never thought I'd see the day. I don't know how they even did it. Honestly, I can't believe this. But you know what I do believe? I believe this is a drastic improvement from Baldi Basics 1.0. I can really see how much they improved. I mean, look at I that. I mean, this honestly looks like shit. The door is not connected to the wall. Look at that this. doesn't even look like Baldi. Why? Different sizes. I mean, who would even like, do that? Why, why does Baldi have a ginger beard? And like, who the hell is this supposed to be? Who yeah. the hell is that? I don't know. And honestly, why aren't they in 3D? The artist, I guess, just had it, had it reached their prime. No, they have not. Uh, but I, I'm very glad they figured out, you know, their artistic style by the time they reached Baldi's Basics 2.0. But right now, 1.0 is shit. But 2.0 deserves a number seven spot. And now, coming in at number seven, it is Vibe Check Mario. 
Now then, for the number five spot, we kind of lied. We have another sponsor. It is Flex Seal. And to show you the power of Flex Seal, I saw this stage in half. It even works underwater. Okay. No water available to show how well it works underwater, though. So then, if you ever been on Stage Creator, you'll know that there's every restaurant is basically on Stage Creator. But the best one by far is Chili's. Welcome to Chili's. So, what makes Chili's so goddamn good? I made it. Now then, from the director who had a foot fetish and decided to make a show about teenagers, it's number. What are we on? Like Let's say 10. Two. Let's say 10 again. Now, Number 10, give me! If you notice, both of them are barefoot. That means they're more powerful on this stage. That also means that the director fucking loves these characters. <laughs> so, coming to the famous school of all time, and no, it's not wherever Byleth is from, it is from good old Prager <laughs> University. <laughs> Tell me a fact about Prager U. Uh, you know, actually, Goku goes to Prager University. That's why he's so freaking dumb. I oh. see, I'm praying it, I'm playing as Goku right now. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. So, a little known fact about this stage, but you cannot grab the middle stage's edges. Just like actual Prayer University, if you think you'll be saved, you'll actually just die. Now then, we are going to the number one spot. This is the best stage in Smash Bros. So, can you, do you want to say the name of it? Yes, the name of this glorious stage is We Fit Cowboy. Now then. I believe we all can say that we do enjoy a good Wii Fit every now and then. And I cannot wait to see this stage. I really can't wait to see her in cowboy position. I never saw this Yoga move. so good. I don't know what they're going to do, but it's going to be amazing. 